Hi, my name is Gareth, and in this video, we're going to take a look at brewing with a clever coffee dripper. Ten years ago, before Carvetti was ever a thing, I used to enjoy time at home finding different brew methods and trying things out and experimenting and playing around. And probably in the early days of having the business, there was time to still do that. And the one thing I found now as our business nears maturity is the time to experiment and play is just not there. And it's sometimes hard to justify giving up time to focus on playing around with the brew method. And these videos have been invaluable to me because it's given me a chance to reconnect with some brew methods that I haven't touched for such a long time. And the Clever Coffee Dripper is one of those methods. It's such a simple, easy method to use. Kind of surprised I don't see it around a little bit more. It's a brew method that kind of combines two styles of brewing. It kind of combines the, the steeping method that you find in a cafetiere with the drip method that you would find in a filter. Uh, it's sometimes called steep and release. In the first half of the brew, we're going to be brewing the water in here and there is a little valve at the bottom. So when the dripper is just sat here like this, the valve is shut so all your water stays in there and it's brewing very much like a cafetiere would brew. However, the moment that we place the dripper on our container, it opens the valve and the coffee will flush through the filter and you get that filtration as well. So it's really good for those people who like maybe the style of coffee the cafetiere brings, but don't like some of that muddiness they get at the bottom. Before we start, let's just run through some of the things we've got on the table so we know what's here. Um, we've obviously got the clever coffee dripper. Uh, it comes with a little lid. It comes with a little coaster to stand it on. I've got my kettle and today I'm going to use hot water. I'm going to 98 degrees, um, even above. If you haven't got a way of measuring that, then go nice and hot. You're going to lose a lot of heat when you bring in this method, which is going to affect the extraction. Um, throughout every chance I get, I'm going to be putting the lid on to keep as much of that heat in there as I possibly can. So this kettle is set for 98 degrees today. I've got a little vessel to drop my coffee into afterwards. Filter paper, which is obviously really important. Something to stir the coffee with, which we'll talk about shortly. And obviously my coffee. And behind me here, I've got my grinders. Um, I've already pre-ground my coffee, so we're ready to go. Um, I've used the Wilfer uniform here, and I've gone for a grind setting of around about 20. On the Wilfer little Wilfer Svart here, I've gone for a grind setting around about the R in the word Aeropress. And there's a good starting point. So the process is really simple. First thing we need to do is actually get our filter paper into the dripper itself. And then I'm going to wet the filter paper. I'm going to give it a bit of a wash by pouring some water in here. And I find it easy to just spin the dripper around. And as you can see, the water stays inside the dripper. It doesn't go anywhere. I can use the same water to warm up my little vessel on the side here. And while that's going, I'll grab our coffee and talk a little bit about water to grind ratio. I've gone for the typical 60 grams per litre ratio. I can get 350 grams of water into this dripper. So I've got 21 grams of coffee in here and that can now go straight into the filter. And now we're going to go with the water. And we're going to pour all the water in straight away, right to the 350 gram. We're going to start a timer at the same time. And as we pour, we're going to stir the grounds as well. I don't want any clumps of grounds happening in here. So I'm just going to very carefully stir it all and make sure it's all loose as the water goes in. So tear our scales, start our timer, and we're off with our 350 grams of water. Got a few little lumps starting in there. So as I pour, just gonna stir ever so gently in there. I'm gonna go all the way up, straight in to 350 grams, nicely there. And then 
the lid straight on. Keep that heat in the system. Now what's happening now is the gases in the coffee being released. I'm going to get a raft of coffee, a bloom of coffee sitting on top here. Which you don't really want, I want those grounds inside the dripper. So after about 30 seconds, I'm going to actually just tap the top of those grounds delicately with my stirrer to make all the grounds sink into the dripper itself. So I'm about 50 seconds in, just tap away and keep going until those grounds are in, lid straight back on. Now I'm aiming overall for about a four minute brew time. And this is something you've got to play around with because part of that brew time is going to be the steep part and part of that brew time is going to be the actual release part. And I've worked out it takes about here on this grind setting, it takes about a minute to a minute and a half to release. So I brew for two and a half minutes and then I let it go, it releases for about a minute, a minute and a half, give me an overall brew time of about four minutes. If you adjust the grind setting, then that drawdown time might be a little bit quicker, might be a bit slower, and it's something you can kind of play around with. My one bit of advice is that you set an audible timer when it comes to reminding you when to release this. If you're anything like me, while this is going on, I lose attention, I go and do something else, and I'll miss that point in time when I need to release the coffee. So we come to two and a half minutes. Um, I've remembered to empty this of the water was in it. And before I release it, I'm gonna take the lid off and I'm gonna give this a stir to make sure I've got rid of all the grounds that are kind of sitting high and dry on the filter paper. And then it's simply a matter of dropping it straight on to your vessel. And the valve opens and the coffee releases through. And that is it. It's just a matter of waiting a minute, minute and a half for the whole thing to go through. So that whole thing took about four minutes and 10 seconds in total for the last bit of liquid to drip through. And I was quite happy to leave it to go to that point in time. And I've got about 300 mils of coffee in the pot here. It has more mouthfeel I find than a V60. So possibly lacks the clarity and the cleanliness and crispness that a V60 has. Uh, but I quite like the mouthfeel that you get with this style of coffee. And so, so easy to brew. So there we are, the Clever Coffee Dripper. Got any thoughts, questions, comments, please feel free to fire them my way. Thanks for watching and your subscribes. It's, I'm so excited at the moment. We're well beyond 100 subscribers. Um, and it really is really good of you all to subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much.